have been using Express Airs for many years, and I really appreciate its stability, long range, and low cost. Recently, I noticed that there is new target added into this project, which is the ESP32 C3 Super Mini. So I decided to design my own ERS receiver and make my contribution back to this project. My name is Jack Lee. I will share with you my design and the building process with you today. Last time, I built a prototype which used the ESP32 C3 development board and the E28 module. The receiver is working correctly. This is the receiver I have built with my tiny wing. I was able to fly over one kilometers without any loss of the telemetry and the signal. After the proven of this prototype, I designed my own PCB. The design of this PCB is very straightforward. You solder the ESP32 C3 development board on the side and the E28 on the other side, and it's done. First thing to check is to go to the Express ARS repo and in the target repo, you can see you have the TX and the RX. So in the RX, you can find this DIY C3 Super Mini JSON file. So all the wiring information is included in the JSON file. In the left side is the definition or the usage of each GPIO. For example, the series RX and the TX, which is the receiver RX and the TX, are GPIO 20 and 21. And the, the redo, this section are the connection to the RF module, which in, in this example is the wiring of the E28. And you can find all the definition of the E28 in the website of eBite. And the, the power section are used to control the output power of the TX or the RX. But in my case, the, this, this RF module only output 10 milliwatts, which is the default output output no PA. So all the power section are kept as zero and the default power value is 13. And uh, for this target, it is capable of output PWM outputs. And in this case, the Super Mini LED used the GPIO8 onboard LED as our uh, the indicate LED. Then I will go to the GLC PCB. For the AX module, there are four pins, the ground, 5 volts TX and the RX, so I will connect that directly to the development board and connect the rest of the GPIO to the E28RF module and to 5 volts and ground. I will use the output of the 3.3 volts to power up the E28RF module. So I connect the 3.3 volts uh, directly to the RF module and the ground. And uh, let's take a look at the PCB. So this is a two layer PCB. This is the top layer and uh, this is a button layer. So I added the, the version information in, in this development board. And we can also take a look at the 3D preview and uh, that's it. That's the design. And the next steps to solder the development board and the off module into this PCB.
So one thing to notice that to, to make sure all the sodium pads are connected firmly. Let's plug in the receiver and flash the firmware. First of all, the provider is the Backyard RC. Uh, we do not have the generic target yet. So I will use the, this Backyard RC to flash and reconfigure it as from a PWM receiver to a series receiver. Write down your own binding phase here and uh, flashing using Siri. UART, which it has a USB built in. Just receive it. Flash full chip erase. And flash. After a few seconds, the firmware will update it to the receiver. We need to reconfigure output 5 and 6 to series RX TX. At this point, the receiver is 99% ready, except for one thing the LED. A normal receiver will flash when it's connecting. However, this receiver, the LED is already solid. And that's because the configuration of this target is not correct. We need to configure that in the hardware page. We can see that the Baker RC used the RGB LED while in this development board, the LED is a normal LED. So we need to change the GPL of LED to GPL8 and turn on the invert signal and we are 100% down here after reboot we can see the LED is working correctly this simple cost-effective ERS module is very easy to build and it's perfect for beginners who wants to build their own express ERS receiver and the, the, all the process is very simple very easy and the result is very rewarding. You can find the PCB designs in the links below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments below. Thanks for your watching. I will see you next time.